Yeah, to that end, Christy, is there a point in the game you progress. knew you were feeling it? I know you had a bunch of those points in the fourth quarter to push the comeback, but were you like, oh, tonight could be a night for me at any point? No, not really. I just It was just falling tonight. Um, but, yeah, it was – it was a credit to like Kelsey and the people that were penetrating hard to um, draw so much defense and then kind of leave me out there. You had a couple, again, like I just said, in that fourth quarter stretch. What were you looking for to get open in those moments and how important were those, do you feel like, for momentum in that point? Yeah, it was big, big momentum shifts in the last um, quarter especially. Uh, I think defensively we did a really good job. That was the main key. Uh, and then also uh, offensively it was just to attack, attack. Um, and we did that and was, were able to get some good looks. Kelsey, what do you think happened in the third quarter? And what does it say about this team to just leave that in the rearview mirror and put it behind you and still get this win? Uh, I think that mindset of like leaving was what had happened in the first half, in the first half and going to the second, I think they punched us in the mouth um, really aggressively. And I think it showed how resilient we are as a team, but um, we can limit those, some of these situations. <laughs> I don't know when, but um, this week, th this game, we could have limited, uh, eliminated a lot of stuff that happened, but we got punched in the mouth early um, in that third quarter, and that momentum shift came. But it just showed how resilient we are as a group. That's three wins in a row for you guys. Can you feel that things are clicking and you guys are playing a little better right now? Uh, I think so. I think um, from a camaraderie standpoint, we've always been together as 12, but um, lately, I think we, we we just, you know, put our heads down and did the work, and I think we've we shown our results now. Kelsey, you had a couple games there where you had a ton of big shots down the stretch. Nalissa's had her moments. Aaliyah's had her moments. What was it like for you and the team to watch um, Christy have her moment? Um, it was, I mean, it was amazing, obviously. Uh, I mean, I knew kind of down the stretch, the way the game was played, they were aggressive, um, especially down the stretch of the third and fourth quarter. And so for me, it was about making sure I kept her in rhythm, uh, make sure I fire her when them shots, you know, obviously – Ryan Howard, you know, great basketball player, um, saw her turn her head on K-Dub. And so as soon as she turned her head, I said, K-Dub's ready. She ready to shoot the shot. And I told her to be ready, but I didn't know she was going to be that ready. So I'm excited. You guys were down by three in the final two minutes against Seattle. You're down by even more than that um, in the final couple minutes here tonight. What are you noticing about your group in those huddles, the demeanor that is allowing you guys to have moments like this? Um, I think for us, we we built that mentality that whatever is going to happen, we're going to go through it and we're going to do it together. And I think that um, we, we, we've, seen, we've seen what the lows of the lows look like, obviously. And so for our team, uh, we don't have much to lose. And I think that we know what's at stake, obviously, down the stretch of these last couple of games. But more importantly, we know that we can count on each other. Like I said, we look at each other in the face every game um, in that circle and we believe in each other. And so today was K-Dub's K moment and I'm happy for it. Um, Go ahead, Christy, tonight comes after your really strong defensive work in the fourth quarter on Thursday. Do you have something that comes out in you in the fourth quarter or what's been happening in the past <laughs> couple games? Um, not necessarily. I think just any opportunity I get to play, um, I'm ready to go and um, do the best that I can out there. Um, and there have been, you know, um, some big plays in the fourth quarter the last couple of games, but I think I just take those opportunities whenever I'm out there. Uh, go to Alexa on Zoom. Hi guys, uh, either of you can answer this, but when Aaliyah had to exit the game with her thumb injury, what was the message either from the coaching staff or amongst each other of just trying to keep your composure? And then how, what did you think was the most important key to coming through with the win despite having her out? I didn't know she was out with that thumb um, injury. So. It was just like the next man up mentality. Um, v stepped in, Emma stepped up. Um, they were ready to go and, and obviously performed really well. So they were ready. <laughs> Christy, after that third quarter and you're tinkering and toying with lineups to try to figure it out, you finally get the right group out there. What did it all say about your team to, despite giving away the lead, still hold on and get this one? Yeah, just uh, resiliency, resolve. I mean, I really went at them at a timeout. Just, you know, we were just kind of playing with no sense of urgency on either end. And um, slow, we're not a slow, but we're, we want to play with pace. We weren't getting stops. We weren't doing anything with any, and it, 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 there was no aggressiveness at all. So I really went at them and, and um, Kelsey Mitchell did as well, which was a, a good thing to see. I mean, she demanded her teammates to pick it up. Um, and that's, that's what you need from a player like her. You've coached Christy Wallace literally her whole career. I mean, have you seen a performance like this from no. her? Uh, the clutchness of what she did, what, what can you say to all that? Yeah, just, you know, I'm, Thank, thank you, T, for that trade. That's number one. <laughs> um, she, she's just so tough, man. I mean, like, her stat line is terrible. She didn't get a rebound. She didn't get an assist. She had turnovers. But she made shots for us, period. And she guarded Ron Howard. 
Like she was one Ryan the most. So just for her to step up the way she did she, with all that confidence, just huge, huge for us, huge for her. What do you know about Aaliyah's long-term outlook and how did you have to adjust the way your team played when she did leave the game in the third quarter there? Yeah, we were kind of managing it with what Cheyenne Parker did. That's how we were kind of playing it. Um, I haven't talked to Todd, our trainer, yet. Um, I'm waiting to see. I know it's a thumb injury, but we'll just have to wait and see. You referenced the resiliency from your group in the fourth quarter on Thursday. You've got an even bigger deficit in the last couple minutes here tonight. Um, did you see something similar from your team in those late huddles that kind of showed you the belief that they had something like this capable in them? Yeah. That at times in the past, the, the huddle was really quiet. They weren't talking. They weren't, you know, as, as players on a team, like the coach is going to give you what to do, but then you have that conversation together. In the past, it's been real quiet. They were talking about exactly what needed to happen, how they were going to guard certain things after we'd already told them. And that, like I said the other night, it's just growth. It's experience and growth. Kelsey's had a bunch of big shots here lately. Nalissa's had her moments. Of course, Aaliyah's had plenty of key moments down the stretch this year. What did it mean for you to see it come from a player like Christy and to have her moment in the way that she did? Yeah, um, really proud. Really, really happy for Christy Wallace. You know, she's been actually sick the last few few days. Um, we weren't sure if she was going to play the other night. Um, but like I said, just tough, tough. I mean, Australians are just different. They are different. Um, just took some courage to take some of those shots and what I loved was the fact that we were driving and kicking driving and kicking and getting to that wide open shot and that that's what we've been working on yeah. uh, Christy had that really strong defensive performance in the fourth quarter on Thursday and then the strong offensive performance tonight what does that say to her development like after she has kind of been in the starting lineup consistently yeah I mean I think she's done exactly whatever job we needed her to do and um, that's that's all she wants. Like when we talk uh, before games, and we're, we're you, she's picking up the the best offensive player if it's a guard on the opposing team, right? And so she just wants to know exactly every little thing to to do as it relates to that player. Offensively, I mean, she's a playmaker as well, so she's able to come off ball screens um, and then do what she did tonight: hit wide open threes. Um, that's our goal: wide open, uncontested shots, and we got a lot of those tonight and knocked them down. Uh, Alexa, anything on Zoom for Coach? Yeah, just a quick one. Um, when you talk about the team's resilience and ability to fight through adversity, how do you hope they can use this experience today for the you know the rest of the regular season? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we're. I mean, we all know where the standings are. I mean, we're living. We're living today. You know, we've got to win um, come Friday. We also, you know, we're going to – for us to, to keep moving forward. Um, our goal was to make a playoff push. That was our goal from day one. Regardless of how many wins were last year, like that's something that's been talked about. Um, just good, you know – Keep fighting, keep doing the little things, keep growing as a team. I keep saying it, we've only been together four and a half months. You see the difference in this team. You see the trust that they're having in each other. You know, that takes time. And so that's just where we are. And we, I'm, we're gonna keep keep doing the same, more of the same. We've got a couple days of practice before we play Dallas, um, who's a really, really good team. Um, so we're just gonna keep doing more of the same.